bloopers. God, we're far away from home. This, guys, is the other car that is joining us on the road trip. Hi guys, and welcome to SAB. And it's a quite excited video um, for me personally, and hopefully for you guys as well. Now, this is gonna be the first video of probably a series of videos. And that's because me and a couple of friends are taking a trip way up north to Scotland, uh, which is around about 450 miles. I'm going to whack at least a thousand miles on the Abarth. Um, but I'm really excited. And on this trip is my friend who I previously mentioned in a couple of videos um, will be getting a Lotus Evora 400. Um, and the order of these videos has come out in a slightly different way because we should have really gone yesterday to collect the Lotus Evora, but unfortunately, Lotus hadn't got it ready. So after a bit of arguing here and there, my friends decided to turn up in something else. Um, and I will wait to show you what that is, because that's gonna be quite exciting. We're gonna get some really good footage of that car. And we've also got another friend who's coming along uh, who's got a Porsche 996 Turbo. So three cars, Porsche 996 Turbo, a little something special, which you'll see in a bit, and my bath all going from london up to scotland now before we get there we're going to have to do a series of stops because doing a 10 hour drive from here to scotland is just not doable well it might be if you're a hero we're not heroes so we've we've planned a stop at the lake district which will be our first stop uh we'll stay there overnight tonight and then we'll head off early morning tomorrow up to do the west of scotland so Exciting times because there are some seriously good roads up in Scotland. I'm going to hope to capture some of those roads with you guys in the Abarth, but also potentially in some of the other cars as well. So first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to head over to Beaconsfield Services. I'm going to meet the couple of my friends. Uh, we're meeting up with the 996 Turbo up near Manchester, so that'll be a bit further on. But let's get to Beaconsfield and I'll show you what the other car is. Should be good. All right, guys, so I have arrived at Beaconsfield Services with the Abarth, looking clean. Can't get the camera to focus. Looking clean. It won't stay that clean because after a thousand mile round trip, it's going to look horrendous. But so I'm here and I guess now I'm just waiting for these guys to turn up. So I shall wait patiently. One eternity later. Right. Okay, I can see them now. This, guys, is the other car that is joining us on the road trip. Have a look at that. Ah, oh. unreal. So basically guys, the moral of this story is you plan a road trip to do a thousand miles in your brand new Lotus Evora, Lotus under, under deliver, and you end up doing it in this. This is gonna be one hell of a road trip. I am so excited to go out in the Abarth and in a Ferrari. So we have now got to Beckersfield. Finish him! Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've got to Beckersfield Services, and as you can see, the Ferrari California is looking stunning. Now, let me introduce you guys two of my friends who you have not seen. In fact, you probably recognize Richard from his cameo in the channel trailer. But you haven't met Andy before, so Richard, Andy, say hello. How's it going, guys? guys? So, first question, I need to ask you this. How are you feeling? Because we should have been here in a Lotus. We 
should have been. I've had a hell of a week, mate. <laughs> no, feeling good. All's well that ends well. Exactly. So we've got a pretty long drive up now. So we're going to now jump in the cars. We're going to meet Chris, who's got the 906 Turbo, and then we're going to make our way up to the Lake District for our Michelin star dinner, which I'm looking forward to. Hello. So let's get going. We are on the M40, heading up towards the M6 to catch up with Chris and his 996 Turbo. And I've got to say, the weather is really on our side today, which is so good. Up north in Scotland right now is raining. We're leaving sunny London to go up to Scotland where it will start raining in London and stop raining there, I hope. That's probably the kiss of fate right now. Kiss of fate, that's probably the kiss of death right now. It's gonna probably be horrendous weather when we get there. But I've done all my pre-long journey checks, check the oil, check the tire temperatures, filled up with juice. Uh, and this will be a good test for the Abarth because according to my tank, my range is supposedly 250 miles from 40 quid. So let's see how far I actually get on one tank of fuel. No doubt the Ferrari is going to need petrol before I do. But um, no, I'm really excited for this trip now. Nobody wants to pay any money. Now I'm gonna try and get these guys pulling off. God, we're far away from home, you know. somewhere I think somewhere near there and he's warming himself up to drive the Ferrari and then we're about 40 I think about 45 minutes still away from where Chris is so 
we're gonna jump back in when we go to the toilets. Um, we're all right for fuel actually, the Ferrari's still got half a tank, I've still got half a tank. Next stop will be Chris at the services and then at least another hour away to the Lake District, but we're getting there, we're getting there. How is it Andy? What's it like on the drive up? Yeah, it's really comfortable, really comfortable. Not big bastards. <laughs> Rather nice. We'll be doing a proper video in this car probably on, well, maybe tomorrow or Saturday. I've always felt one of these looking back at me before. That is life, Ferrari life. <laughs> Look at the interior, it's so nice. The creature comforts I don't have in the Abar. So and even the red carpet. This has got a really nice feature as well. You can change through the settings just by tapping the clock. Yeah. Clever. Very clever. So this is your first drive in a Ferrari, Andy? Off the track, yeah. Off the track. <laughs> About 25 to go. So yeah. Next so we're still a while away. Here's the man. Hey, buddy. Hey, dude. What's happening? <laughs> How was the drive up? Awesome. Good fun, yeah? Get used to this. I know. Well, Andy's now warming himself up. I know. I'm not too happy about that, if I'm honest. Hang on, hang on. Let's, let's hear this thing. Give it a rev, Andy. Oh. <laughs> the smile on his face. <laughs> if you put anyone in a Ferrari, they're bound to have a good time. They are bound to have a good time. Right, let's jump back in the cars. We'll get into the little beast. And uh, let's go see Chris because it's cold and windy. Whilst I was busy trying to figure out if there'd be a chiropractor in the Lake District, these two were having a great time. How are you feeling, mate? I'm feeling like this is the way I should be most of the time. In a Ferrari. In a Ferrari. With me. <laughs> Absolutely. Some tunes. Yep. Other people do them. And a raspy V8. Oh. It's a little around the interior. Got a bit of the Apple play going. France, of course. So now we're at the services where we're meeting Chris and the 906 Turbo. You can see it's starting to get dark. We've been stuck in God knows how much traffic. And that's not cool because we are still a while away. And let me just show you. I see a 996 Turbo. <laughs> there he is. Mr. Ray. Two car convoy has now turned into a three car convoy. We've got the 996 Turbo here. Let me give you, do a couple of close ups and show you Chris's 996 Turbo. Great buy, they're appreciating. It's a mean car. Chris just wants this now. <laughs> Andy, how was the drive? <laughs> sorry, I'm gonna have to edit that out. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Awesome. In fact, I haven't even sat in that yet. Let me have a quick sit down in the uh, in the Rari. Well, that's Andy's car. Oh. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> California. <laughs> Well, it's a bunch of track off. Get there. Woo! And so we've collected Chris. Now we're going late districts. We've got a table booked for seven, which probably isn't ideal. Uh, Seeing as it's already five and we got two hour journey to get there. And we got radios. 
I take no responsibility for Margulis' driving.